Hi there. I decided to just do a little video of your question. I've downloaded this uh, image of Australia uh, from the internet and given each state a color. Uh, I did simplify it a little, each of the states a little bit, just <clears throat> to um, make sure it works easily. Uh, just a note, uh, when you create a shape, uh, I'm not sure what all of these, um, you know, how this was built, but uh, the fact that they all fill with color is a good sign. Um, I'm looking at each of these and they've been named. That's, that's nice. Uh, each shape is uh, if it has more than one um, shape in per on the state, it would need to be a compound path. So, for example, this one has not been... Um, actually, all of them are compound paths, so that's um, that will make it work better for the next step. Okay. So if they, if they weren't compound paths, you would simply select all the paths associated with a given state. And on the Mac, Command-8 would convert it to a compound path. Okay, so the next step is to create, to fill these. And we could, uh, I just opened up flowers um, um, symbols and I'm just going to drag a symbol out and I'm going to drag seven of them out. One, two, three, and that a pretty one. Four, five, six, seven. Now we want to put them inside these shapes. So an easy way to do that is to then drag these um, flower symbols into the swatch panel. That turns them into um, fill patterns. So I'll do that with each of them. I'm going to make this bigger so you can see what's going on. So now we have seven unique uh, shapes or, or flower patterns. Now I'm going to select the first uh, shape. Now if I I could replace the existing um, fill with with the pattern, but it would give me uh, something like that, which isn't really what you want probably. But you could instead, uh, if you open up your, uh, pull over the appearance panel, which I have right here. Um, I'm just going to duplicate the fill pattern or the fill um, attribute. So now I have two fills. Now if I target <clears throat> just highlight the first fill and make it, I could do it from this menu or I can do it from the menu, the actual swatch panel. Now we have it filled with this pattern. If I want to make it larger, I could um, say, now I'm, I'm going to click uh, I'll, I'll try to use the menus instead of the keyboard shortcuts, but I will need to use a sh keyboard shortcut as well. But I can get the scale tool, and now when I click here, I can set the center of the scaling just by clicking once. Now when I start dragging, it will fill, it will expand the shape. But if I hold the tilde key, 
that's right underneath the escape key. If I hold the tilde key, it will only uh, expand or enlarge the, the fill pattern, not the object. So now, now if I drag out, and I'm also holding the shift key so that it constrains the pattern uh, and so it won't be distorted. Now when I let up, I get a large image of, of the um, rows in this case. Now if I want to move that, I could get my move tool, which would be uh, V on the keyboard, or down over here somewhere. Uh, oh, it'd be up here. Oh, no, no, it would just be the... Um, not V, but the uh, A key for direct select. And now if I start click and drag, again the object is being moved, but if I hold the tilde key down, I'll only be moving the texture inside. And that is on the current fill. If you have more than one fill, of course the the fill of a solid color, it doesn't matter where it's located, but if you had more than one pattern fill, it would you would need to highlight that particular fill in the appearance panel. So again, the steps are to get the um, direct select tool, click, drag, hold the tilde as you drag, and to center now it's not you're not going to see it in real time as you move it. So you need to see up front, say decide where you want, say if you want this bud, for example, to be centered, which you wouldn't, but you would click on the bud, start dragging, hold the tilde key down, and wherever you let up that's where that bud would end up. I'm just going to Command Z to go get it back. So that's that's how you would add. Um, now I'm going to select the next shape. Again, I'll duplicate the existing fill and assign a new pattern. I'll with it already selected I don't I just need to I don't need to click anywhere I would just start uh, I would just click and drag oops um, I would need I'm going to get the scale tool and you can also get the scale tool by hitting S on your keyboard now when you start dragging out hold the shift key to constrain and you'll uh, not the. Sh I I held the shift key, but I forgot to hold the tilde in in addition. So I command Z to undo. Now I'll do that over again. Shift key and tilde. That that you can see it. The tilde key. When you hold the tilde key, then you get just a rectangle instead of the um, actual uh, outline of the image or the the shape. Okay, I want to make it a little bigger. Now the other way you can do this is just by uh, option clicking and then you get a scale dialog box where you could type in a specific say 225 percent uniform and you want to scale um, stroke and effects but not the shape and you could preview this and you see that the shape or the fill uh, scales but not the and that's going to be too big so I'll make it 200 and now if I hit tab you can see that is updated and you want to click transform patterns here and not 
and make sure transform objects is unclicked. All of that is what you're doing. You can do that with the keyboard using the tilde key. Now I'm going to move it. In order just to move it, it's just easiest to um, get my... I could just get the move tool. Um, the it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the direct select tool. It can be the uh, normal select tool. And now start dragging and hold the tilde key, and you can drag it any direction. It is. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to matter whether you hold the tilde key down first, or whether you start dragging and then hold the tilde key. The catch is the tilde key needs to be down before you let up on your uh, mouse. So I'm, I'm hitting S for scale again. Now I'm going to drag inward, hold the shift key and the tilde key. Now I could also rotate. Um, say if I wanted to give that a little angle hit the R to rotate or over here and then move the cursor away and start r rotating hold the tilde key down and the pattern would rotate inside so it's the same steps for the rest of them I'm not gonna bother doing them here but I think I will rotate this one um, just make sure you've got the right fill pattern um, targeted in your appearance panel and then again make sure I've got rotate start rotating tilde key that's a nice little trick somebody told me a long time ago hope that helps